I added League of Legends items into Minecraft. I coded five different abilities and tested them out in many different scenarios. What would it be like if you're able to stop your enemies on demand, cross really long parkour jumps, or even become temporarily invulnerable? Well, we're about to find out right now. Our first item up is Everfrost. Unleash a fan of icy shards in a cone in the target direction, dealing a small amount of damage to enemies struck and slowing them by 65% for one second. Enemies hit in the center of the cone are rooted for the same duration instead. 30 second cooldown. By the way, if you don't play the game, rooting means that you cannot move at all. Honestly, it sounds really good at first, but I found that it's very situational and has a very long cooldown. Like one of the only situations that I find this useful in, imagine you're getting chased by a bunch of baby zombies or something like that, or like a, a really fast mob. You can just run, press it, and then keep running. You only get like a little bit of ground on them. And it's also on a 30 second cooldown. Or imagine if you just want to cook a cow or something. Okay, that was pretty useful then, but that's like one very specific scenario. Speaking of farms, let's say you have like a massive farm like this with a ton of animals in it, and then oh no, your friend just griefs it, and they're gonna go loose. Easy. Easy fix right there. Really? No. I imagine this item could be really good in PvP scenarios, but in survival Minecraft like this, not useful. I would rate this item as mid in Minecraft. The next item that I added is probably not as mid. Gargoyle Stone Plate has an active of the following. Gain a shield for 100 plus 90% bonus health. In Minecraft, there's not many ways to get bonus health, so I just made the item give 9 hearts. Decaying over 2.5 seconds with a 90 second cooldown. This is pretty broken because you can literally gain a whole extra health bar with the click of a button. It makes most MLGs a lot easier. I could probably jump from up here to down there but with this item i will survive all right ready see i'm alive i survived because of the item because i took way more than 10 hearts of damage and you can also press it when you're about to take heavy amounts of damage let's say a creeper sneaks up on you bam i live that or what if you just accidentally fall into lava somehow that extra health bar could save your life. Even though this item has tripled the cooldown of Everfrost, I would rate this item as good in Minecraft. However, Gore Digger is another very situational item. Its active deals damage to enemies in a certain radius around the player. It heals for 8% of your missing health per enemy hit, and has a 15 second cooldown. Although it could be life-saving in the right moment, most of the time either your healing is negligible, or you're surrounded by mobs and you'll still die. Like if I'm surrounded by mobs... Like, I press Gore Drinker in that, but like, I'm still surrounded. Sure, I get out, but also like, it does nothing. There's no way there's this many mobs in the first place, so this is like, really unrealistic. If I'm in the middle of a bunch of mobs like this, and I just press it in the heat of battle, and then I get out. That Gore Drinker saved my life there. But normally that doesn't happen. You have to be really bad if you want to get in that situation. Although the cooldown is short compared to the rest of the items in League, it's still long enough to the point where it isn't significant. Mid. Hextech Rockabelle is one of the most fun items to use in Minecraft. Dash in the target direction, though not through terrain. Unleash in an arc of 7 rockets in the same direction that do a small amount of damage to enemies hit. And I completely left out the second part because I didn't think it was that useful. And it's on a 40 second cooldown. This is a much more effective chase and escape tool than Everfrost because you can dash in close distances. Like just look at this. You can't tell me that's not useful is it? Or if you want to engage on some mob, you can do this. Nice, but not as useful. Or you know that your enemy is very low health and needs just one bit of damage to finish him off. <laughs> Bam, he's dead. This item is pretty good. Zanya's Hourglass is probably the most broken item I added to Minecraft. Put yourself in stasis for 2.5 seconds, rendering you untargetable and invulnerable for the duration, but also unable to move or do anything else. 120 second cooldown. Imagine the MLG potential with gargoyles, except it can be done from any height. Watch how stupid this item is, okay? I'm gonna teleport myself to Y500. I'm this high up, just watch. I'm gonna do this in F5 mode. That's so stupid. Like. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. You can also avoid very dangerous attacks with the click of a button. Imagine you get a ton of endermen mad at you like this. They're all chasing you and stuff. You're about to die. You just press the button and then they don't care about you anymore. It's almost like you're never there in the first place. Or let's say you stumbled upon a warden in an ancient city. This is very scary, by the way. And then you accidentally make too many sounds. Oh no, he's about to go for me. He runs at me. I just press Sonya's. And even the warden, the warden himself does not aggro me anymore. That's crazy. Then I can slowly sneak out. There are many more scenarios where this item can come in clutch, but overall, it's broken in League, so obviously it's broken in Minecraft. Anyways, those are all the League of Legends items that I coded into Minecraft. If you want me to try to make any other League or non-League features, make sure to comment them down below. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, go watch my other videos, or else. 
I will run it down in real life. Hey guys, so I just want to say at the end of the video that between the last video and now, I've experienced quite a lot of stress and demotivation. I've been going through the long and complicated process of applying for college. School for some reason just wants to throw a lot of bullshit at me and some other recent events that have hindered my creative energy. I really want to make better and better videos, but that ends up with me having fewer and fewer ideas that make it through. So although my schedule isn't completely regular, expect it to be even less regular because I do need some time to regain that creative energy. Thanks guys.